Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show where we are ready to cook with Twisted Fern. I've got Adam and Misha Ross here and uh, again we are making something that I am pretty excited about because it has a lot of cheese in it. <laughs> what have we got? It's a blue cheese stuffed burrata. Blue cheese stuffed burrata. With rapini and a peach vinaigrette and macerated Utah cherries. Oh, I yeah. like the sound of that, my friend. Yeah. This is awesome. Now, this is a fairly typical for you guys for what, an appetizer? Or is this yeah. a. Yep, appetizers, appetizer? small salad, small plate, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And yeah. what are some of your other uh, your favorite things that you, you have on the menu right now? Um, the harissa wings. They're um, chicken wings that are cured and then confit in duck fat. Oh boy. Fried crispy with <laughs> a Moroccan harissa sauce, kind of a hot sauce, with a mint and feta ranch. Oh my god. Kind of goodness. a take on chicken wings. That sounds really good. That's an appetizer. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, since now I'm really hungry, we should probably start making this because that All sounds right. awfully good. Uh, what, what is our process here on uh, creating this uh, wonderful? Lights. Um, <laughs> simmering water. Okay. And then curd. So this is our cheese curd right here? Yep. Cheese right. curd. Where do you source yours? Where do you go? Um, I get some of my cheese from Heber Valley, some mm -hmm. from Drake's Farm when I'm using goat cheese. Yeah, you like to stay local though. I, yes. Um, Especially with cheese. This one is not Heber Valley though, just to be completely honest. Okay. Um, but yeah. Excellent. All right. All right, what's first? First is making water hot. Yeah, so with some salt. salt. Okay. All Excellent. Right. Let's switch the And not really uh, too specific on that, right? Just throw some salt in there, right? Yeah, you kind of want it. It kind of tastes like the ocean. Okay. All right, so when that's hot. Yeah, we're getting pretty close, I hope. Yeah. Take it. Over the curd. Okay. Wow, beautiful. Okay, so we're leaving that for yep. a minute. Is just that let right? that sit. Okay. And then uh, next step. I'm just gonna stir it. Alrighty. Excellent. And. So this will start to uh, start to melt this cheese a little bit. Yeah, is the idea. And we're not in a rush here. You want to you, you, you want to take it slow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So wow. it's going. Excellent. Let that sit. All right. Put this back on. So Misha, tell me about uh, Twisted Fern. Where did you guys come up with the name and a little bit behind? Uh, give us a little background in the restaurant. Yeah. So. Um, Twisted ferns are actually comes from the fern before it kind of straightens out. Mm -hmm. um, it's also known as a fiddlehead in the in the maybe culinary and botany world. I'm not sure, um, but right. you can actually it's actually edible. Oh, nice. um, and the thing about it is, is it's a very short growing season. It's a very short edible season, and huh. so it's only for um, maybe a month, six weeks in the spring. And okay. so the idea is that um, the food at the restaurant is also very locally sourced, like we kind of talked about, yep. seasonal. Um, Adam's hoping to change the menu about every month, month and a half. Wow. Um, so yeah. it, it That's is. That's ambitious but exciting. <laughs> it is. It's a it's a very fresh concept. It's very um, whole food based, and so we we wanted to the name to kind of communicate that, and so that's sort of where Twisted Fern came from. Adam also um, really enjoys cooking with with fiddleheads. We had them at our wedding, yeah. um, and so we <laughs> uh, so we kind of played around with a bunch of different names, but that sort of. I guess encompass kind of everything we wanted with the restaurant. Now, does he cook at home? That's the question. Yeah, you know, he does cook at home, but the, the problem being married to a chef in yeah. any walk of life is that they work a lot. Yeah, they yeah. do indeed. So and we, we know he does. He's a hard worker. We try and have a family breakfast um, fairly regularly. That's probably smart. Yeah. Yeah, to, to right. get it in when you can. Yeah. Get it in in the morning, for <laughs> sure. All right, so our cheese, now we're going to start stretching. Yeah. This is excellent. So you're just going to stretch it. This is the same way for fresh mozz. Yeah. Yeah, we you're see people stretch do it. mozzarella stretching every now and then. At okay. A, at, uh, I think it was Caputo's the other day I was at where they were doing that. Oh, nice. Will that work? Yeah. Love Caputo's. Yeah, very fun. Wow, this is great. <laughs> I've so never <laughs> stretched cheese, i got to be honest with you. That's not try my it? thing. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, there, you bet. <laughs> um, water is hot. Water is hot, yep. okay. So if you're doing this at home, it's nice to have a little bucket of ice water. Because you'll need it. Yeah. It's a little, it gets a little warm. Yeah. 
All right. So give this a. Oh, you weren't kidding. That is that is hot. So you just. Am I doing this right? Yep. I feel like I'm not. <laughs> it's pulling apart. <laughs> All right. So next steps. We don't have a lot of time, so okay. make sure we get through the whole process. All here. right. I, I could stretch in. cheese for a long time and stretch out this segment, <laughs> but. <laughs> so I'm just going to rip off a couple ounces. Okay. Kind of just take it as if you would pizza dough. Okay. You want to turn that off a little bit? Yep, I can do that. So I'll turn this one down here. There you go. Flatten it out. And now basically we're going to stuff it, is that right? Yeah, stuff it. So burrata is just fresh mozzarella that's been stuffed, typically okay. with chopped mozzarella curd and a little bit of cream. In this case, it's curd, cream, and blue cheese. Oh, wow. Move that pan right there, please. I will indeed. Should I turn this back up? Yeah. Okay. And just twist the bottom. Break it off. Okay. And there you have burrata. All right. I should probably get the other ingredients over here a little closer yeah. to you. All right, so what do we do next? So now I have uh, rapini broccoli rob. Okay. It's uh, fairly bitter. So we have bitter, uh, sweet with the peach vinaigrette. Yeah, and a little sour. And then a little bit of sweet, a little sour with the cherry. Awesome. And we're just going to. So you want this pan pretty hot. Yeah. Together. It's yep. pretty warm. So this has been blanched first and then fairly dried. Okay. Just get that. Crisping up a little bit. Excellent. A little pepper. Yeah. Now, I know you like coarse salt. That's always a good idea. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. And a lot of people, a lot of chefs, that's a big thing. Use the good stuff. Yeah. All right. So this, you now, what is the processing time on this? How long do we usually uh, work um, with, the, with this part of it, the broccoli? Kind of just depends on how hot your pan okay. is. You could do it on your grill. You could do it on hot pan, a wok. You're just looking to kind of blister the greens. Okay. Add some crunch. Well, I think this is a good time to take a quick break. Okay. Uh, we're gonna come back. We've got uh, ice cream too. We are busy on nice. the show today. It's all it's all about uh, my favorite things for sure, and one of them my, uh, for sure is the twisted fern. We will be back with more right after this. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show as we're just getting ready to plate this wonderful meal from the Twisted Fern. And right here we've got, uh, this is uh, broccoli, right? Uh, broccolini. broccolini. Oh, I'm sorry, broc broccoli rob. Broccoli or rob. Rapini. I've Not never broccolini. seen it before, honestly. No. But it looks really, it smells incredible. It's but tasty. This is from Copper Moose. <laughs> and it's nice. It's bitter, but very crisp. Still, yeah, very refreshing stuff. Excellent. All right. All right. We're going to put that onto the plate here in just a second. And yeah. then what are we adding to this, Adam? Um, so this here has just been quickly charred with a little olive oil, salt, and black pepper. Excellent. Just All right, I'll get that turned off. There we go. Okay. Great. And then a peach vinaigrette. And you prepared this earlier, obviously. Yeah. Um, it's uh, peaches, uh, I'm guessing some balsamic vinegar. Um, white balsamic white vinegar. White balsamic vinegar, okay. Wow, looks great. And a little honey. Ah. Uh -huh. Simple. Yeah, you always, there's something, I knew there was something special in there. There's a little bit of honey always yeah. helps. And then some macerated Utah cherries. Wow, that's great. I know right where to go get those, up in Brigham. Yes. <laughs> that's a great spot. All right. And then the fresh blue cheese burrata right on top. Excellent. Put that on hot just so it kind of starts to ooze out. Yeah. You can do a little right. fresh pepper. And we're all set. Now, where is Twisted Fern and what are your hours? So Twisted Fern is just at 1300 Snow Creek Drive, Suite r &S, which is right in the same shopping center that um, the Park City Market and the um, large liquor store here in Park City is. Excellent. Um, so if you know where that is, you'll yeah. be able to find us. We are, um, like I said, we're open seven days a week for lunch and dinner from 1130 until 930. Wow. And you can have uh, more dishes like this. We have, um, you know, your 
uh, not standard, but um, amazing hamburger. If you're looking for something a little bit heartier, there's a um, chicken fried portobello on the oh, menu that that's, uh, that's really popular. And I think one of the other kind of popular things that we're seeing is the shorty melt, which is a short rib um, served on a red, red bicycle rye bread with some cheese, sauerkraut, um, house-made sauerkraut, um, and a fried egg on top. And then we have a couple of different desserts Ooh. that are also doing uh, amazing. There's a peanut butter and fluff roll, um, that which sounds is incredible. just as good <laughs> as it sounds. And um, just a variety of options. We have, we do really have a oh, wow. <laughs> <I could. laughs> something wow. that really can satisfy all taste buds. Well, you're satisfying mine right now. Perfect. <laughs> Incredible stuff. And I got to tell you, um, it's so simple, but yet yeah. Incredible stuff. Thank you. Thanks so much, Adam. Thank you. And Misha, thank you so much. Twisted Fern, make sure you get over there and try it for yourself. It's, uh, again, uh, incredible stuff. Just waiting for you to enjoy. We've got a lot more coming up here on the Mountain Morning Show. We're going to be enjoying ice cream right after I eat this right here on the Mountain Morning Show. <laughs>